Oh, brilliant one. I trust that you are doing well. Over the last few days, I've been on a number of conference calls, webinars, trading text messages with uh, men and women from all over the world. And the reoccurring question is, how are you? And what can I do to help? I believe we are at a critical juncture where all of us have the opportunity to meet at the intersection of healing and help. The healing simply starts with a conversation. If your sphere of influence and if your circle, if you look in your circle, and if everyone in that circle looks like you, then your circle is too small. Is there an opportunity to begin to think about expanding that circle, inviting someone who doesn't look like you to come into the circle, have a seat at the table, don't leave them out of the choir, give them a hand up, not a hand out. And at the intersection of healing and helping, there's a conversation that happens because of the curiosity of wanting to know someone else. And I believe if we were to start there in our neighborhoods, in our communities, in our workplaces, uh, wherever we go, then healing is helping because when a person is intentional about healing through the power of a conversation, they're very mindful of their word choice because language carries energy. And in our word choices, the simple question of how are you and what can I do to help you becomes healing within itself. I posted the other day on social media, listening is healing. So let's talk about the helping because I think that's critically important. After the, the healing is happening because of the power of the conversation, what can we do to help? Let me give you an example. Anna Vargas, and Anna, thank you so much. I, I caught this post that you put in your feed on LinkedIn and she said, hi all. If you've recently been laid off and we've worked together in the past, please get in touch and let me know how I can help you. I would be glad to review your cover letter and or resume and can see what opportunities are available at her company and if there's a good fit or would gladly write a reference letter for you. Maybe you just need a sounding board to discuss your next career move. Either way, please reach out if there's anything I can do. Hashtag in this together. That's helping. What can you do? So many times there are people of color, black and brown people that have the skills, they have the education, they have the know-how, they have the experience, but they don't have a relationship of someone who can influence, open a door, make a connection, make a call, send an email, send a text. I have somebody you need to know. So my challenge to you today is what can you do to help someone in the midst of healing, them healing, and you healing? Now you're probably saying, Simon, okay, you're, you're telling us what is it that you were doing? Great question, right? Fair question. I look for opportunities every single day to help people without expecting anything in return for them because I believe in the law of reciprocity. What goes around comes around. And I believe in helping those that they have reached out to me and if I can help them, I'll help them. If I can't, I'll refer them to someone that can. But 
it is hardwired in me to be of service to individuals when I can. And uh, I do it sometimes very quietly because you don't need to always let somebody know, oh my goodness, look at what I'm doing. No, just do it because it's the right thing to do. And I believe if we really begin to search within ourselves to say, how can I be intentionally more helpful and allow my help to be healing for me and healing for black and brown people? Not a handout, a hand up. That's healing and helping. I love you and I believe in you and there's not a darn thing you can do about it. Have a great day.